Hi, it's really good to be here to the Working Lives Here and There exhibition. Um, to see it in reality when you have a thought in your head, it, it's just a brilliant thing to, to see and experience. Um, and I just thought it would be really good to give you a few words as to why I thought we'd do it. Um, this is part of Liverpool's first international festival of business. And um, we are always trying to find ways of challenging the status quo about life for disabled people within our um, social and working environments. And one of the biggest issues we've got is around un unemployment. And last year I was given a few talks at um, different dinners about unemployment issues for disabled people. And it really struck me that it's actually getting worse. So I thought using the business um, uh, background of the festival to try and attract businessmen who employ disabled people would be really important. So I had this idea of having 12 pictures um, of people working from here and in Liverpool to help attract business people's thinking about everyday life here. And then I thought with the way we're working as an organisation, linking with other countries and seeing the other issues that are actually happening around um, their social interactions and everyday life opportunities. Unemployment is an even bigger issue in some of the more developing countries. I'm Nick Birkinshaw, I'm the uh, Cultural Programme Coordinator for the IFB and uh, we've been involved in the commissioning of this piece of work from Dada Fest and we're thrilled with it. It's uh, beautiful aesthetically, it's insightful and it's a really valuable piece of work and we're very, very happy to have been involved with it. I like this exhibition because it's about time we suddenly we see something that's a lot more real and um, I chose this piece because I just think it's the colours in it just complement each other. I love the like it's just there in the moment, it captures the moment really well, especially with the spark and I just think it's very empowering as well. I know you can't see your photograph here, but there is a fabulous picture here of you with the Al Noor Fragile Vision t-shirt on and you're one of your artworks. Uh, what does it feel like coming all the way from Saudi Arabia to see your picture in this exhibition? It's a very lovely and the people in the first seat photograph she was sitting out to share a very important message with everyone. That's brilliant, really, really brilliant. Fosma, you've had a look at some of the pictures in the exhibition. As somebody who's principal of a school for disabled young people, what does it make you feel to see that all these disabled people are working in the community? So happy that I see people from different countries what this can do, and they want and they do a good job. It's very lovely. And it's your ambition for all your students that yeah. they did not say that yeah. they have similar opportunities. Yeah. 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 Uh, you've come over also from Bahrain. What do you think about this exhibition? Is it something that could happen in Bahrain? Uh, yes, I think it is something that could happen in Bahrain. I was talking to earlier with some of the guests around and just saying how oh, it's actually a very simple exhibition but quite effective. I think it conveys the message very clearly. Um, and I think if more people come and view this, especially um, business owners and employers, I think it will send a very positive message, message to them uh, on the importance of employing people with disabilities.